welcome back to my channel. So today we're just gonna go ahead and get ready with me and do this full face glam. Hopefully you guys are up for it. And if you do, then keep on watching. Alright you guys, let's start with brows. We are taking a lower brow pomade and I am taking a Morphe angled brow brush to carve my brows. Actually no, we're not carving just yet. We're going to go ahead and outline our brows and then fill it in. Now we're going to go ahead and carve our brows. For that, I will be taking my beloved Elf Cosmetics Complete Coverage Concealer Palette. I'm taking the lightest shade onto a concealer brush. This one is from Sigma Beauty and I'm going to go ahead and carve the top and the bottom part of my brows. Today for the eyes, I am taking two palettes, one being Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette as well as Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. For the base, taking NYX Cosmetics eyeshadow base in white, I'm going to go and apply that with a brush and then with my fingers, I'm going to blend that out. From the Androgyny palette, I will be taking this very shade from this palette. This is the only shade I will be using. I'm going to go and apply that and pack that right into the crease of my eyes to set the eyeshadow base. Then I will be taking a pointed blending brush. I'm going to add some color to that and then start blending that out. Taking another fluffier brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend it further. I will now be taking MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I'm going to go ahead and take that onto a Wet n Wild brush. As long as you have a synthetic brush, that will do. I'm going to go ahead and create a cut crease. I will now move on to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette, taking this rose gold metallic shade. And I'm going to go ahead and start applying that into the center of my lid. Once done, you want to move on to the next shade, which I decided to take a very lighter pink onto another synthetic brush. This one's from VH Cosmetics, and I applied that towards the inner corner. Taking another brush, and I'm packing this dark brown with pink glitter in it. And I'm going to pack that towards the outer corner for some depth. I'm going to go ahead and work on my other eye, and I'll be right back. For some sparkle, I'm going to go ahead and take Urban Decay Cosmetics Heavy Metal Glitter Liner and apply that into my cut crease. To highlight my brow bone, I am using Vanilla Pigment by MAC Cosmetics today. After moisturizing my face, I am applying Smashbox Photo Finish Primer towards my T-zone and then slowly spreading it out. For the foundation, I am taking Tarte Cosmetic Amazonian Clay Foundation. I'm going to go ahead and apply that using a foundation brush by Sigma Beauty and then move on with my Beauty Blender. I totally forgot to add some sort of liquid glow, which I always, always do in my foundation. I decided to layer that right on top of it. This one's by Crown Brushes. I'm going to go ahead and just blend that using the Beauty Blender to make sure it's all well blended all over the face. For the cream contour, taking Wet n Wild Coffee Contour Stick, one of my very, very favorite and affordable product. I'm going to go ahead and apply that as I would like to contour. And then taking Elf Cosmetics Angled Brush to blend this contour in. For the cream highlight, I will be taking LA Girl Pro Concealer in Creamy Beige and I'm going to go and apply that towards my T-zone area and then very lightly and gently blend that in with the Beauty Blender. To set the highlight, I will be taking a translucent powder. This one's by Laura Mercier. I did add a little bit of Ben Nye powder in it just to get a little bit more color out of it. I'm going to go ahead and apply that using a flat brush. To set the rest of the face, moving on to my another favorite, NYX Cosmetics Stay Matte But Flat Foundation Powder onto a Morphe Foundation Powder Brush. I'm going to go ahead and set all of my face with that. For the bronzer today, I am moving on to Buxom Bronzer. I believe it is called Tahiti and I'm going to go ahead and bronze with that. That will bring a little bit more much needed color onto my face today.
let's move on to the contour today I will be taking Palladio contour palette and I'm gonna go and mix all these three shades together onto a bronzer angled brush and I'm gonna go ahead and contour for the highlight I'll be taking the lighter shade from this palette and highlight my t-zone area For the blush, I'm moving on to Profusion Blush and Bronze Palette, mixing all three of these together, creating my own custom shade and applying that. For the lower lash line, I will be going back to the Norvina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette again. I am taking a pointed brush and taking matte pink shade from this palette and applying that in a blending motion to my lower lash line. Going back to the Jeffree Star palette, I will be taking that deep purple color again and apply that towards the outer corner for much needed contour and definition. For the inner corner highlight, I am moving back to the Norvina palette with a dry brush first, then adding Fix Plus onto another brush. I'm going to go ahead and apply that one more time to give it more pop. For the waterline, I will be taking NYX Cosmetics Gel Liner in white. I will take Maybelline Pencil to apply that into my waterline. For some reason, I feel like this is the easiest way to apply any product onto my waterline. Going back to the Androgyny palette, I'm mixing these two shades on a flat definer shading brush. I do apologize about the focus on the camera because I have white in my waterline. For whatever reason, my camera couldn't focus. I'm going to go and just apply that onto my lower lash line just below the white gel liner. For the glow, I am taking Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that onto my T-zone. For highlight, I will be taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and taking this shade right over here, Bubblegum. I'm going to go ahead and apply that with a fan highlight brush. For the liner, taking a gel liner by Tarte Cosmetics, I'm going to go ahead and just very easy line my lash line. I didn't go too crazy with the wing today. I am coating my lashes today using L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Mascara, one of my favorite favorite must-have item in the kit. I will be applying my falsies. You are welcome to opt into any of your favorite falsies for this look. I will now be taking my Kat Von D Trooper liner just to kind of, you know, clean up and make things look more sharp and sassy. For the lipstick, I will be using Wet n Wild Catsuit Liquid Lipstick in Rebel Rose. All right, you guys, so this right here is the finished look. Hopefully you guys had fun. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can stay tuned as to what fun look I am going to do next. I love you guys and I'll definitely see you next time.